In our discussion on nuclear fission, we said that nuclear fission reactions tend to release a lot of energy. Now, how much energy does a nuclear fission reaction actually release? That's what we're going to discuss in this lecture. So, let's suppose that we are examining a specific nuclear reaction, so the nuclear fission of uranium-235 isotope, and we want to calculate how much energy is released in this nuclear fission reaction. So basically a single neutron collides with the nucleus of our uranium atom making it unstable and that basically releases these two atoms, the barium and the krypton, as well as three individual neutrons. Now, knowing this information and the atomic masses of each one of our atoms and our neutron particle, we want to calculate how much energy is released. So, the way we're going to approach this problem is by calculating the decrease in atomic mass when we go from the reactant side to the product side of our nuclear fission reaction. So, first we take the sum of the masses of uranium and the neutron. So, we take the mass of this and this and we get this quantity. And then we take the sum of three neutrons, the krypton and the barium. So, we we multiply this by 3 and sum that with krypton and barium and we get the following result. And now we subtract the two and this gives us the decrease in mass. So when we go from the reactant side to the product side, this is by how much our mass decreases. Now because we can use this to calculate the energy, we can now take this and convert this into kilograms because to use the rest mass energy equation, we have to know the mass in kilograms and not in unified atomic mass units. So we take this quantity and multiply it by the conversion factor and we get the mass in kilograms. And then we take the mass in kilograms and multiply it by the square of the speed of light in a vacuum as per this equation, we get 2.78 times 10 to negative 11 joules. Now we can convert this into mega electron volts and we get 173.77 mega electron volts. So we basically basically take this, divide this by 1.6 times 10 to negative 19 and we get the energy in electron volts and then we divide that value by 10 to the 6 and we get the value in mega electron volts. So when our nuclear reaction, nuclear fission reaction of uranium-235 occurs, this is how much energy is released into the surroundings. And this is a relatively large amount of energy compared to other nuclear reactions.